So what's next for Congress as it prepares to investigate a potentially explosive political scandal? Well, right now, Nancy Pelosi is facing pressure to cancel a two-week recess set to begin after votes tomorrow so that Congress can go all in on this impeachment inquiry. The House Speaker today confirming at her press conference that Democrats have decided to narrow the current focus of their impeachment inquiry just to the allegations laid out by the whistleblower. And the House Judiciary would be the panel that handles any articles of impeachment. But she was also rather forceful in describing how she viewed the conduct of the White House. The complaint reports a, quote, repeated abuse of an electronic record system designed to store classified, sensitive national security information which the White House used to hide information of a political nature. This is a cover-up. This is a cover-up. Amy. So, it, it, you know, if we if we had not seen the complaint, they would probably cancel the recess to try to keep the pressure up. Now that the complaint is so explosive, you can see why they're going to stay on it. The cover-up part of the complaint, I think people were not expecting. When Republicans were clinging today to Mr. McGuire's use of the word hearsay, when they were clinging to a Fox News report that said that the whistleblower had indeed, which turned up in the complaint, never actually heard the conversation with the Zelensky, all of it was panned out in the transcript anyway and then is deeply compounded by the fact that it was loaded into secret servers and there are more than six people helping the whistleblower account for this now credible and urgent story. So this is the part, as I said before, that Senator Ron Johnson felt. He thought that the transcript of the call, by the way, was just fine because that's the way Trump talks, but he's having a problem with the um, loaded onto the separate other computer system. You know, I think she was trying to call up the ghost of Watergate by saying cover-up. Remember we all said at the time that it's not the crime, the crime, it's the cover-up. Cover up. This is the crime. Right. Mm. It's not the cover-up. Cover-up is bad. This is a crime that everybody sees. The parallel with Watergate is the transcripts. Remember, Watergate didn't go full speed until the tapes were released. And then people could personalize it. It's like you were saying about your students. Yeah. They see the transcript, they can personalize it. They know what's going on. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's why it's happening. I, I think at the end, I'm not thrilled about the idea of only focusing on Ukraine. I mean, we did have this whole Mueller report thing, but if this is the part that breaks through, then go for it. Because I think the last two years of investigation have sort of prepared the public to understand that you're dealing with a corrupt president. So, bravo, I haven't ever said this, bravo to Nancy Pelosi for actually going through with this, and I hope we get a vote sometime this spring. I think you might get a vote sooner than that. Mm. Um, it will not surprise me if there is, are articles of impeachment drafted and on the floor and voted on before Thanksgiving. Wow. You heard it here first. We are going to sneak in our very last break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.